one bit of interesting research came from Adrian College in the state of Michigan in the U.S. And uh, um, one of the professors there, Scott Behrens, uh, did some very interesting studies of college students to look at their aptitude uh, for college and compare that with the habits of mind. What he did was to administer them the ACT, the College Aptitude Test, and um, uh, then cor correlate that with the habits of mind. And he found that uh, while all of the habits of mind were correlated with success in college, some of them were even better predictors of success. And uh, he found four, for example. One was metacognition, thinking about their thinking, and that's not surprising, of course, for a college student to have to plan, to have to do long-range planning, to have to install a plan inside their head and monitor it and see how they were going. Another was in clear and precise language. That also isn't surprising when you think about college being a highly verbal, uh, doing a lot of writing. So students who were um, uh, who excelled in clear and precise language also excelled in some of their college tasks. Another was striving for accuracy and precision. Now that's not so very surprising either. Uh, turning in papers and taking tests and so on at a college level uh, would be very important and so uh, that seemed to be a good predictor. And the fourth one was of course managing impulsivity. Uh, students who had to think before they act, think, uh, to think through problems, uh, before responding to think before they would uh, answer a question in class, for example. And so um, another bit of research then seems to support the habits of mind. Furthermore, it's not just um, a success in college, but we're also finding that the habits of mind are predictors of success not only in careers, but uh, in the community. As students uh, um, uh, get married and raise family, these are the same kinds of behaviors that um, parents need to use with their students and the spouses need with each other. And so uh, uh, certainly any parent who can persist with their uh, children are better parents than those who give up. Uh, and so we're finding then that the habits of mind do have a research base and they're applicable in many walks of life.